so let's see now. I think that should be uh, a lot better. I think you all should be hearing me much, much better now. Uh, let me know. Somebody give me a call. Let me know. I want, also want to check the audio on the um, call. So somebody needs to give me a call right now, 440-7377 or 347-329-3101. Give me a call on either or. Let me just... Uh, double check my audio on the calls. Yeah, nice. Yeah, do that right about now. We need to call. No, 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 no. Right, nice. So I think we have a call on the line. Hello, good night. 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 Oh boy, for some reason the caller isn't hearing me. Hello, good night. Oh boy, I'm not sure why. But okay, but I, I was hearing the caller, but the caller was not hearing me. So I still have some work to do inside of here. But we can't let that hold us back tonight. We're going to just have to go with the program, huh? I may not be able to take your calls tonight. I'll have to do that tomorrow night. As I said, we've been changing around several things in the studio. And on coming into studio this evening, all of the computers shut down and started restarted. And that took us past 8 o'clock before the updates they were doing. Apparently, there was a power outage. So everything restarted. But I recognize that you all are hearing me much, much clearer. Let me say a special good night to each and every one of you listening to Talking Points tonight. We do apologize for the listeners who usually tune in via 91.9, 91.5. We know that you all definitely will not be joining us tonight because um, since it, they usually come on automatically, it's automated. They come on at 8. And if we are not sending a signal at that point in time, their system would just stay off air it would go to playing music. So most likely the people who are listening to 91.9, 91.5, they're most likely hearing music right now. Uh, we lost that one. Let's try this line. Hello, good night. Hello, caller, are you hearing me? Okay, the callers are having problems hearing me, so we'll have to leave that one alone for tonight. We can't take the calls tonight. We'll sort that out during the day tomorrow. We did do some work over the weekend. But um, we did not complete everything, all right? And the phone lines are, are going crazy. But we are here, folks. Yeah, well, we, no, we had to start with show. You know, we can't, you know, we can't go and stick and think they right now. We're done later already. All right, folks. And um, I will not be able to take the calls because um, the system is giving a bit of problem tonight. Yeah, the system decided giving some problem tonight. Every now and again. Well, I, I named the program the right thing for tonight because I called it Monday Madness, and this has to be madness. <laughs> Call it Monday Madness, and the Monday Madness says, here am I. <laughs> Good night to you, Zayla, Zoe, Neela, Namara, all of you. But yeah, time to go to bed, time to go to bed. Yeah, Uncle Shala keep all you up longer than he usually keep you all up. Yes, all right. Uncle Shalad is okay. He's here, all right? I know a lot of you were worried if I'm here. I was here since before 8, but the system itself crashed. So we had to start basically from scratch. Yeah, the system itself crashed. But folks, you know, as we begin tonight, I want to play something for you all. And let me go to that directly. I want to play something for you all that came across on the news um, over the, the weekend. I think it was Friday night. Very interesting piece. Let me see if we can get Three that here. Three weeks ago, the Planning and Development Authority handed out eviction notices to business owners located along the Port Highway, giving them a 28-day grace period to have their structures removed from the property it now occupies. The 28 days ends this Sunday. Friday, GBN sought feedback from the proprietors on their next move. This operator said she is willing to comply but is confused about the promise made to them that did not materialize. So I'm not going to be operating on Sunday. 
because in the letter it says that they're going to charge us $50,000 for the first day and $1,000 each day that we are open past the deadline. So I won't be open. But what I don't understand, I still don't understand is uh, when, when Andy Williams and Claudette, I don't remember her last name, but um, when, these, um, when they held a meeting for us at the Radisson about six months ago, um, they said that we would not be unemployed, we would still have employment, they would make sure we had a place to be, and they would build a, a beautiful food, food court with restrooms and everything is going to be built over here on the side and um, I, I feel I feel lied to I feel tricked you know People who have been served with removal enforcement notices from the Physical Planning and Development Authority can file an appeal to the closest magistrate's court according to Section 32 of the 2016 Physical Planning and Development Control Act. A person upon whom an enforcement notice is served and is aggrieved by the enforcement notice may, at any time before the enforcement notice takes effect, apply against the notice to a magistrate's court having jurisdiction over the place within which the land to which the notice relates is situated. This entrepreneur said they wanted to appeal. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So we, we did file the appeal today in court. But when we filed this appeal, there was nothing, the court didn't have anything for us to file to. So, what does that mean? So, I'm very curious about, okay, us making the deadline to appeal this decision, and we don't have anything to file to. So, what is this about? I just let, I let the people figure, figure that out, because I have a thing in my mind. But I let the people figure it out. You go to file something to be in compliance. You go into court, and you get it stamped, and they look at you like, what's this for? Okay, so what does that mean? Is this another lie? Is this another ploy? Like, what's going on? What's really? All we really want them to do is talk to us. Come back, and let's have a discussion like we did six months ago, and let's be truthful. Let's think about our, our livelihood. Chris Lina John, GBN News. Yes, indeed, folks. So... There it is, you've heard from the vendors. That's the people who are occupying those boots along the Port Highway. We did say, and we did show you as well, that according to the law, according to the law, yes, you can give them 28 days, but they can also appeal the eviction notice any time within that 28-day period. They could appeal it on the 28th day. So they waited until the final day to appeal. But when they appealed, there was nothing lodged in the court that made an order for them to move in the first place. So under what pretext, under what circumstances is the authority moving these people? Because you're supposed to file in the court. It's supposed to be a legal something, isn't it? So you're supposed to at least have something filed inside there. Nothing was filed. Yet still you're going and you're telling people you have, you're going to be charging them, charging them $50,000 or so based on what? Because there has been nothing that has been filed in the courts in relation to this issue. So their lawyers went there and they filed on, on Friday. They said, well, okay, we're going to wait until the last day and we're going to file to get a hearing. It's going to give us a few more days and so on. And if it's found in our favor, then at least... We, we can stay. If it's not found in our favor, then we will be given a certain amount of time to be able to move, which will still extend past the 28 days. So they did that. They filed only to find out now that there is nothing there in the courts for them to be able, for them to have to move. Nothing is there. And remember, these are the same people, these are the very same people that the government met with. The government met with these people and they told them, hey, we are going to build a place for you because we want to take this area and make a car park. All of them are talking about beautifying. Now they're talking about car park. But we're going to put you all and we're going to make a building there with a food court and you all will be able to go there, sell your drinks and your food and different things like that. So they told them that. 
that promise was not kept. The next thing they heard from government was that you all had to move. And they can't separate the authority from themselves. They cannot separate the authority from themselves. And it leads me to wonder now, in all the other instances of people that have been forced to move, because there have been other situations, not just the people on the Port Authority and the Port, port Highway, there are other people who have been moved or have received notices if any of those have been put through in the correct and legal way through the court system, or if all of them have been done in the same way that the approach was taken with the people on the Port Authority. It leaves you to wonder, what is the situation when it comes to that? Yeah? Because here it is, they've, they've said it clearly. There, a promise was made to them. A promise was made to these people. They had a promise made to them that another location would be given to them so that they can conduct their business. Now, me say so. Let me see if I could find that, that part. Folks, and I won't be able to take the calls tonight because um, both on the WhatsApp and the direct line, we are having a slight issue here, um, especially since the PCs, everything went off. So we're having a slight issue here, so I won't be able to take the calls, but definitely... Um, we will endeavor to do so, and I think we may have been joined by 91.9, 91.5. So just in case, any of you listening via 91.9, 91.5, a special good night to each and every one of you. So the vendors are wondering what's happening now because that is madness. That had to be madness. Huh? Yeah, man, that had to be madness. It's materialized. So I'm not going to be operating on Sunday. Because in the letter it says that they're going to charge us $50,000 for the first day and $1,000 each day that we are open past the deadline. So I won't be open. But what I don't understand, I still don't understand is uh, when, when Andy Williams and Claudette, I don't remember her last name, but um, when, these, um, when they held a meeting for us at the Radisson about six months ago, um, they said that we would not be unemployed we would still have employment they would make sure we had a place to be and they would build a, a beautiful food food court with restrooms and everything is going to be built over here on the side and um I, I feel i feel lied to i feel tricked you know People who have been served with removal enforcement notices from the Physical Planning and Development Authority can file an appeal to the closest magistrate's court according to Section 32 of the 2016 Physical Planning and Development Control Act. A person upon whom an enforcement notice is served and is aggrieved by the enforcement notice may, at any time before the enforcement notice takes effect, apply against the notice to imagine. And, and folks, um, I'm going to try something with the phone line again. So somebody give me a call at this time. Let me try with the phone line again. I think I may have been doing something wrong here, so give me a call. Nice. Street's court having jurisdiction over the place within which the land to which the notice relates is situated. This entrepreneur said they wanted to appeal. Okay, okay, all right, all right. So we we did file the appeal today in court, but when we filed this appeal, there was nothing. The court didn't have anything for us to file to. Then under what authority are these people asking the people to move if the court didn't have anything to file to? What authority are these people using to remove the individuals from there? You know, what authority are they using to do that? Uh, let's go to the phone line. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Well, I'm not getting through still. Let me try again. Yeah, I think, I think it may be on my end here. So, hello? Hello? All right, yeah, I think it's on my end that I'm making that mistake. It's not on your end, definitely. So, what are the people filing to? Yeah? What are they filing to? And let me hit the... Okay, it's... Uh, no, that's not it. Let me see. Yeah, let me try the local line here again. Hello, good evening. Hello. Hi, good night. Yes, are you hearing me? Hello? Hello? Hi, are you hearing me? I'm hearing you, yes. Okay, nice. Beautiful. So I think I, I, I 
solve the mystery of what was going wrong here. You go right ahead. Right. So I'm just calling to text the, the line for you. Good okay. Night. Okay. Great. Thank you. All right. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so I think I think we've got that one. Yes. Yeah, so I think we've got that one sorted out now. So I think we understand. Yeah, so your boy had to make sure that that day and that day, all right? And I had to make sure this year, this year, this year, because I'm pretty sure the, the listeners didn't hear that call up very clearly. So I'm making sure that I have everything in order there, right? Okay, folks, so it seems as though we'll be able to take your calls. You can go right ahead and call. And I do, again, I do apologize, but as you could tell, when you're trying out a new system, it takes a little bit before you get accustomed to it. Nice. 4407377 and 347-329-3101. Those are the numbers for you to call and get onto the inside of tonight's program. And we have a caller. We have a caller online. Hello, good night. Hello, Scott. Good night. Good night. Good night to the Grenada. I hear you loud and clear. All right. Right. Um... There's a lady that passed by me this morning, and she always listened to the program. I hope she listened to me tonight. And she had come for some cocoa, but I didn't have it at the time. Mm -hmm. And I told her, I'm going to get a little later on. So I want to she listening. The nice little red lady that come and make known to me, I got the cocoa and I put away what you say you're the amount you want. So you could pass any time during this, this week and collect it. I don't want to say your name. Anyhow, and thanks for everything. Well, I put, them, I put it away for you. And she let me hear you loud and clear. All right. But Cammy, Cammy. Mr. Hey. You have, um, oh, so you're hearing me good on the phone as well, eh? Yes, I'm hearing you loud and clear. I don't yes. know why the others. No, no, it, it, was a, it was a problem on my end. Uh, it's a new board okay. I'm using. So I think, but here yeah. now. Cami, I mean, you have cocoa, but you have tambran ball and thing yet? Or you, you're I still... have a, yes, I have some tambran. I yeah. have the raw tambran and I have tambran ball. Okay, there's some people going you back and I know. I have a tambran for $10. All right. And I have tambran ball. With the tambran ball going fast, eh? Yeah. Mr. Scott. Yes, ma'am. People, when I speak and I say it's good for some of these people, I tell all you that these, these, these people in government do good. <laughs> They ain't good, Sheldon. When I told Claudette... Shoot is shoot. I told Claudette when she came to the, my son in law prayers. And a lot of Grenadians was upset with me. But I had us to say what I had to tell her. I had to say what I had to say. I told her that they don't like people. Because, my God, you had a meeting with these people. Like hard-working Grenadians. They're not idle. They're doing something to earn a dollar. Okay? You all tell them you will be a place for them. And look at the lady, the lady explaining to the nation and the world. She telling them what Andy, Andy Williams, and Claudette, she, she don't remember she last name. She name is Claudette Joseph. Told them they will build things with toilets and things for them. How could you sleep? How these people could sleep? When you, these are Grenadians. These are Grenadian people that are doing something honest for, to make a living, to pay the water bill, pay the light bill, even pay the mortgage, send the train to school. Eh? And now, when they go and file whatever they have to file, they're looking in the court. You see how bad my name is, and I want some of them and the sister supporters that the say, they're doing good. All you do bad mind like them. And all you they come in. All you bad mind. You want him St. Paul's of day. But always call and speak about. You must call and speak about that. Because you're a woman that just hustle and you so hustle on the street too. There is poor people in Guinea. And all you can do me nothing. Because I'm going to speak for my rights as long as you are doing the wrong thing in this country. I'm going to speak. I'm going to speak out. Because before any sister, Deacon Mitchell, are you in power eating and drinking and wearing clothes? I pay the bills. Before all you come in, I too bad mind. I want God to deal with all you. I want Papa God, the Most High, deal with all you. Dread, 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 dread. That wickedness, that is wickedness. 
Why you give me the yes, so I mean, America and Canada? That all you're not living here and all you're not what it is doing to poor people is wrong. The commission is wrong. As the prime minister of this country, you, are, you have to do something for these poor people. You will cause people to go and rob and kill. Or it will cause you to commit crimes when they can't pay the bills. Mm. It's wrong. You cannot do that. And some of you are the same people that say, keep me can and do nothing. You see? You see what's going on now? You are sick for all your own self. So some of you are in your mouth and say, keep him do nothing. You see how you get in the whip? You already see how you get in all your own weapon? With all your own mouth, the tongue. The tongue. And you have a good night, I'm very upset. I'm very, very upset. Kami. Because I know how it is. I know, I know as a struggler over the years, struggling. Struggling, I know how it is. Today, you know how much money I make today? Fifty dollars. Wow. Fifty dollars. And I have a rent to pay eight, almost nine hundred dollars when he month up. My goodness. It's sad. It's yeah, really it's, sad. It's Look at how really that come by. Call up my tea, I miss me and empty party. <laughs> I miss my party. I don't say that every time. Dr. Mitchell, wherever you is, good night. Good night to everybody. All right, my dear. Good night. You have a good one. All right. Good night. Good night, my love. Folks, 4407377. So we got it there. I think, yeah, I think while Cammy talking, I make sure I try to get it um proper as well. Eh? Yeah. And folks, yeah, the, the Prime Minister are gone again. Yeah, they said the Prime Minister are gone in Greece. Yeah, the place, not the substance. They said the Prime Minister are gone in Greece. Right? Gone to some climate change, which I find extremely strange. Seeing that you have a minister for climate resilience. So I would think that your minister with responsibility for the particular area is the one who would attend that particular conference. Or at least some of the people that you have who are the technocrats within that department would be the people that attend. But instead of that, you have the prime minister himself gone to the conference or whatever. I don't know what he's gone to the conference. And it also points something else, you know. It's a bit strange to me that the minister with responsibility for climate resilience, you all check. Have you all ever seen that minister really and truly on a major press conference? Have you all ever seen that minister on any of the media briefings or so? Have you seen them on any of the stations I'm speaking about the wonderful job that they're doing in St. John or speaking about the excellent job that they're doing in the ministry. i just using their words. I wouldn't describe it as that. Yeah, but have you seen them? Have you heard from them? Out of all of them, you even have people who are not ministers. So you're seeing Ron Redhead, even though he's not a minister, you still see him going out on different programs representing the NDC and speaking and so on. Even on their own NDC program, on their own NDC program, you're not seeing the minister? And I'm wondering why. Is there a particular reason that they're hiding that minister? We have a caller online. Good evening. Good evening, caller. He's on your end. Yes, we, we, no, we're hearing you. You go ahead. Hello? Yeah, we're hearing you clearly. You go ahead. Hello? Yes, sir. We are here. You go right ahead. We're hearing you. Hello? Kona, we hearing you, you know. Hello? Yes, we are hearing you. You go ahead. You hear me now, right? Uh, We've been hearing you all the time. You go ahead. This is Sheldon, right? Yes, yes, you're live. Go right yeah, ahead. Yeah, because I was calling before and he was saying he was I was getting the um the voicemail. Oh, so okay. He was saying that he's probably on his end. So I figure he's on his end. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we we're getting you clear now. You go right ahead. Yeah. All right, I'm ready for my question. I'll call you back. I was just calling him <laughs> to let him know, you know. Oh, okay, okay. No problem, my brother. What I'm getting from the phone. Oh, okay. So you could check it out and see if he's on his end. Okay, no problem. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be calling back. Yes. Okay, great. Thanks. Yes, indeed. 4407377347329 Yeah, I find it very strange that that minister doesn't appear on anything. What, are you hiding that minister? Every now and again, I see Minister Andal. Whether it's on 
on the, the NDC heartbeat or whether it's on one of the local stations, they have talk programs, so you may see them on a GBN, whether it's on Beyond the Headlines or To The Point or one of those programs, or MTV, I think they have one or two programs there. But I just never see that minister, and I keep wondering why. Are they hiding that minister or something? We have a call online. Good night. Hello, good night. Hello. I don't know why these callers are not hearing. Cami was hearing perfect. Hello, good night. Hi, good night, Shella. Hi, you go right ahead. We're hearing yes, you. Sir, I just want to find out um, what, what is this prime minister thing for? All them ministers have their ministry, eh? and if he don't give in none of them people to um, do what they work in the ministry. So what I want him to do, just leave here alone, rule the country, because... Each and every minister has their ministry to do. You don't give them a chance. Each and every one of them you take in their ministry. So just do it for yourself. You alone rule the country. Do it for yourself. Because I never, never see no, no prime minister in my whole life since I've been good at doing that, what this man doing. So I can understand why he doing that. But what I don't say, every time I don't say it, that Grenadian work for the prime minister they want they get it so let we deal with it have a good night all right thank you very much right there folks yeah so and folks i think the problem here is that some of you are still listening well the, the last couple calls i think you were probably listening to the device in the background hearing the device loud and clear in the background and i think you were listening to hear me say hello on that end no listen on the phone line because when cami called she was listening on her phone so she heard when I answered and everything, while you may have been listening to the device in the background. So try to listen on the phone line when you call. And folks, remember last week we were speaking about a particular minister and some statements that they made because we saw them last week. And um, let's just play the minister from last week and what I was saying and thing. Um, let me see where I could find that. Yeah, let me... Some memories will probably just update as a way of updating the general public. We have several road projects that has been either, either completed or under construction. Whether it's a Belle by road, Belle road project, which is a major road project connecting oh, that's our hospital, our main emergency road to the hospital. We have the Bromswick roundabout widening, and of course, drain development. We have the Paw Station Road, which is, I know the the, the, commute, the the villagers in 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 that area in Kako is extremely happy with the road construction that has taken place there. The Leicester solution during the Haveville, um, the Haveville Road, the top and bottom Lawrenceon Road, the Mongelo Road, the Granby Road, over 2,000 feet of road is being constructed in Pity Matnik, the Prospical Road, and I could continue about all the other roads that we're building, Point in Karaku. Uh, that, that road project will start um, soon. Point Mount Pleasant Road will be starting soon, I believe, next week, Monday, the construction roads will start. We are importing just. All right, so yeah, we'll take the first one first, right? Nice. So we heard that minister speaking and um, basically taking praise for all. Oh, boy, we're doing road for so and we're doing road left, we're doing road right, we're doing road upon road upon road. Uh, they was doing railroad, so they're doing road, right? So yes, praise on to the minister because who blind and can't see and all this kind of thing. You understand? The minister say you have to deal with the people that are blind. Let's take this call and then we'll go back to the food. Like, to, to that there. Hello, good night. Hi, good night. So let me try this way. Hello, good night. Hey, good night, Brother Sheldon. Yes, go right ahead. Hey, you Lord and clear, man. Mm, go hey, ahead. Brother Sheldon, I, I was in town this, this afternoon. And Brother Sheldon, I came out in Foodland. When I reached Andal, I saw a police van pack up there. And I see a lot of them vendors selling anything, packing up. So when I, I investigate, they was told by the police they have to move. Right? Eh? And the comment was, the comment was on the ground from the vendors. We, we, we say to our kids, we tell, we say to our kids, we can move. Or well, this, this comment, this prime minister wasn't, wasn't like a mature. And it, it made out with the, 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 what people are saying. They vote for this government. And this government doing them that? Because they thought no like, that government had do better, but they say that government was like the, the previous government. And it, so they, what they, what they are saying now, they know election coming. And they will come to them for come to them when they make it show when election come they not vote for them, right? 
and everybody complain about the government. Every sector of the defenders, the fishermen, the road workers, everybody complaining. What are the government doing? Nothing for the, the, poor, the poor people in the country. Nothing for them. And what they're doing is to help themselves and traveling. So I wonder if they are Grandians or, or if they are foreigners. Because foreigners are traveling as regular as how, as how the Prime Minister is traveling. Brother Sheldon, have a good night. Yeah, all right, thank you. Four four zero seven three seven seven. Yeah, let me let me no let me yeah let me let me go. Let me remember what the minister say. Yeah, we, so we hear you talk about roads and things just now. And for those of you that missed it last week, let's just hear what he had to say about um. You know. But let's look at her represent, representation of the sister Isles, um, and what she has done for the Karaku and PG Martinique over the past uh, two and a half, almost three years. Well. <clears throat> What has Mrs. Matrian Stewart done for Caracom PD Matic for the last three years? <clears throat> I don't, I, I mean, some people may see some roads, but if I ever, if anybody catch Tevin Andrews praising any politician or any government minister for building a road, send me to, to a monkey. Okay, so let me just get back the statement again. We want to be sure we hear what you say. <clears throat> I don't, I, I mean, some people may see some roads, but if I ever, if anybody catch Tevin Andrews praising any politician or any government minister for building a road, send me to, to a monkey. Something wrong with me. All right, so it's not, now we say he's safe, um, anything, and then. All of a sudden today, I realize I see this release from the Ministry of Health. Um, let me see if I could bring it up big here, man. I didn't want to bring it up small for you. I see this release come out from the Ministry, and I'm not showing you on, on Facebook. Let me pull it up here. Yeah, we bring it up on, on the Facebook. Yeah, I see this release from the, the Ministry of Health. I wonder if I could increase the size there. Yeah, let me let me increase the size a, a little bit there. Right, so we increase the size. Right. So the entire cabinet went up to Mount Gay today. And guess who was there? Look who there. Look Tevin reaching Mount Gay today. So the cabinet pull a smart one. They bring him up there. You understand? But Tevin reaching Mount Gay today. I mean, all of them come and support him. They bring him up. All of them went today. And they make sure brother Tevin was brought up to Mount Gay today. So the minister... Who said if we catch him talking about roads and so bring him directly to Mount Gay? He went up in Mount Gay today. I mean, look, the man sit down in front. Uh, the man ain't going back, you know. The man make sure he sit down in front. Look, brother Tevin. Brother Tevin, make sure he go in Mount Gay today. Eh? Yeah, brother Tevin, he make sure he go up and hey, the man grinning and all that. <laughs> the man happy. And all I look like, oh, make sure, you know, Sister Glow, Sister Glow, make sure she hug him up and thing. They bring the man up there. Yeah, man, they bring the man up there. You see, look, Claudette there, Dave there. The whole cabinet, make sure they bring the colleague up there. Because the man said, if we ever hear him talking them kind of thing, bring him in Mongi. So we don't know. Um, maybe somebody who's a staff member up there or something could message me. We want to know if they keep the minister or he received treatment and was released. We want to know. So can someone let us know? We're going to come back to the phone lines just now. Hold on, we're coming there. <laughs> we're coming back to the phone line just now. Somebody, anybody, let us know if the minister is receiving the proper treatment, if he is still at the facility, or if he has been released. Yeah, and another thing though, if it's the cabinet of Grenada, the cabinet of Grenada that went and visited, according to the Ministry of Health, is the cabinet of Grenada. Um, certain individuals that um, here ain't in the cabinet of Grenada, so how they reach there? Because as far as we know, they are no longer a cabinet minister. And if you're having something for the cabinet of Grenada, then what are they doing there? They didn't say parliamentarians. If they just say parliamentarians, then you would expect members from the opposition to have gone as well and that sort of thing they said cabinet ministers so if it's cabinet ministers they run doing there yeah run like an elephant on the top of a coconut tree 
You're wondering how you reach there. <laughs> what are you doing there? Yeah? But we heard our good brother. He said, he said it. He said, if we ever hear him praising minister, because he does be praising Andy for road, and he praising this one for road, and that one for road, and praising himself for road. Eh? And he said, if we ever hear him with that, make sure and bring him in Mount Gay. Right? And don't take my word for it. The Grenada Cabinet of Ministers is presently conducting an official visit to the Mount Gay Hospital in St. George. During this visit, they are engaging with key nursing, medical, and administrative staff. The delegation is led by Acting Prime Minister, the Honorable Anthony Williams, and Minister of Mental Health, Wellness, and Religious Affairs, the Honorable Delma Thomas. Minister Thomas, along with support from the Permanent Secretary in the Ministry of Health, Wellness, and Religious Affairs, Ms. Kim Frederick, and Health Services Administrator, Mr. Kester Cyrus, is providing first-hand exposure to some of the challenges faced at the facility. So if that is so, and if it is the Grenada Cabinet of Ministers, because things has happened in this place and we don't know it happening and how it happened and where it happened, why it happened, all kind of thing, we don't just hear things. If it is the Grenada Cabinet of Ministers, can somebody please explain to me? Well, maybe he come to support his friend. Because that is who next to him there. Maybe he come and support his friend. Yeah, because his friend look like, you know, he worried. You know, after we talk and we say, we oh, say bring him up there. They bring him up. I mean, come on. We just talk about that on Thursday. We do apologize for not having program on Friday because we're trying to sort out one or two things here too. But after that, what we said on Thursday... You only find it strange on Monday. The cabinet bring him up there. I feel in smarts, they listen to what we say and they bring the man up there. I feel in smarts, them people and them listen to what we said on talking points and they go and they bring the brother up there. And let me tell him this. Mental health, if you have problems with it, is nothing to be ashamed of. It is nothing to be ashamed of. If you do have issues, understand that you have issues understand that you need to get help and therefore as you have already said it is a situation you have confirmed for the entire nation that it is a situation that you will need help and therefore your cabinet colleagues have ensured that you got to the facility now if you took the help if you decided to stay we don't know if you had an overnight bag with you maybe it was outside or outside of the pictures or maybe one of them box on them in the back i don't know if it's one of that he did work with um for his stay but the minister yeah because um i find it kind of strange right after we talk about that you find yourself up there and the whole cabinet bring you up i find that kind of strange four four <laughs> what we says monday madness four four zero seven three seven seven that's four four zero seven three seven seven i think i named today program wrong i call it monday madness and all kind of madness start to happen and take the studio all kind of madness start to take place tonight as soon as we say monday madness all kind of madness start to happen four four zero seven three seven seven three four seven three two nine three one zero one we have a call online hello good evening hello good evening Caller, you're live. Go right ahead. Yeah, tell her good night yesterday, the, um, the Prime Minister. Good night, tell her. No, that's what I say. Yeah, pay, pay attention yeah, to the, the phone line. The Prime cabinet and then went up in yesterday. So they was talking to a guy. I say, uh, the, the minister and them, they went up in the monk yesterday evening. So they was uh, talking to a guy. So he was telling them, it was getting his, the children was getting our fifty dollars and they take it back. He begged them, please don't take out his pitya. All of them talking to him, down to the prime minister, and all, all of them just take out his pitya. And then he don't like it. You understand? I don't know how they're so quick to take out people pitya like that. That to show people that they're doing the work for them, but then people and them don't do nothing. They just taking your pitya and put it up and making the people believe. They're helping you, but then people don't help in you. So I just want to know if we have a jet blue prime minister. <laughs> well, prob probably he has shares. He probably has shares in it. Okay, have a good night. <laughs> All right, but yeah. 
Yeah, folks, yeah, that, that, I noticed it with that call. I said, pay attention to the phone line. You'll hear me. Talk to me on the phone line. 440-7377 and uh, 347-329-3101. So let me see. No, they, you ain't sure? Okay, all right. I I know. Um, some people say they see when you go up, but they ain't see any come back down. Yeah, some people see the C go up, but they ain't see when he when he go back. Right. Yeah, so like, like, yeah, I know, yeah. Yeah, I wonder too. I wonder if Tessa was there, but I ain't, I ain't find I see Tessa in none of the pictures because, you know, they said the cabinet are grenade and you're seeing people who's not member of cabinet. I tell, watch, let me play a song for them. Let me play a song for them. Let's take this word call. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Hello, good night, caller. You go right ahead. Yes, yeah, Shalon. Hey, go right ahead, yeah. There is a medication that will give people when you're mental. The name of the, me of the medication is Atene. So hmm. that is what it went for, Atene. <laughs> you hear me? I hear you. I said. I heard you, I heard you. Kevin went up to get the Aten. Well, I don't medication know. Medication that know. is for mental people. I don't know. That's I don't why know. he went up there to go with him to give me a ten. I the don't name know. of the, the, the tablet is a ten on your mental. I don't know. I just okay. find it strange right after and you say that. You're the mental people you have who drinking rum and bong zong people around that. He talking about the woman nobody prays, prays, no minister for road. And then you have all that crazy woman. They mad. I am in mad people. I want to say good night to, to North in America. North in Maguire, good night. All right, thank you. All right, all right good, good night, children. Well, we don't know if it's Arcane or Arkansas or whatever you go for. All I could say is this. I, I find it extremely strange that right after we've made the point, and um, it's not us, remember, he was the one that made the statement. We could play the statement again for you. And we could play what he said. Yeah, we could play the statement again for you. Right after we say that, I find it very strange that the minister find himself up and the prime minister make sure that he absent himself at the point in time that they bring in his colleague up there. Yeah, the prime minister make sure and absent himself at the point in time that they bring in the colleague up there. I find it extremely strange. Yeah. See some roads. But if I ever, if anybody catch Tevin Andrews praising any politician or any government minister for building a road, send me to, to uh, Mongi. Something wrong with me. So, uh, uh, remember, we are following his instructions. And it seems as though the cabinet of Grenada were also following his instructions. Because while the prime minister gone for, I mean not for, in Greece, while the prime minister gone in Greece, the cabinet took the decision to go up to Mount Gay and of course they brought Brother Tevin with them so we're trying to confirm yeah as we say we're trying to confirm whether he was seen by the specialist because remember they use the excuse eh? we go in and see staff so if one of the psychologists attached there was speaking to him they have the full excuse the entire cabinet was here and we was meeting with staff so nothing ain't wrong if one of us who may or may not have an issue, meet with staff. So they met with staff. We saw the press release. They met with staff. And we know that according to his own utterances. I don't, I, I mean, some people may see some roads. But if I ever, if anybody catch Tevin Andrews praising any politician or any government minister for building a road, send me to, to uh, Mongi. Something wrong with me. Because it is like... All right, yeah, because it is like... Mm, yeah, we will hear the rest of your story with that another time. 4407377. Four, four, zero, seven, seven, seven. That's a 4407377. Four, four, zero, seven, seven, seven. Also, you can reach us on 349... Uh, three, wait, no, what am I saying? <laughs> I'm giving wrong number. 347-329-3101. Three, four, seven, three, Those are the numbers for you to call and get on the inside. Yeah.
Yeah, yeah we dedicated that one to the Minister of Caracol and Petit Martinique Affairs. Yes, indeed. 440-7377 and 347-329-3101. Those are the numbers. We can't take the WhatsApp calls tonight. By tomorrow, we will be able to take it. It's just one more thing I have to connect day by day. And we good to go with the WhatsApp calls. So we can't take the WhatsApp calls tonight. But we can take your direct calls on 440-7377 and 347-329-3101. Yeah? So that will tell you it's total madness if it's not you're asking people to move without the legal basis to do so through the courts of Grenada. So you doing eviction notice on your own. So some people sit down in our office and just feel we move in them and they go and they move in them. They ain't put nothing in the court. They ain't file nothing in the court. Nothing come through the court system. So when the people now, instead of just taking the debt like sheep, listen to the advice that was given and decided to go and file an application in the court, there's nothing in the court to file the application against. That had to be madness. Yeah? We have a caller online. Hello, good night. Hello, good night. Good night, caller. You're live. Go right ahead. Hi, hi. hi. All these people doing is a part of stupid things they're doing. Only a lies, lies, lies. I'm tired with them. Time to the commodity, you know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I hear you, sister, I, but I we have to do the work. Them, I tired of them. We have to do the work to make sure that they go. I understand. <laughs> All right, my dear. Right. Thank okay. you. Yes, indeed. Four four zero seven three seven seven. That's a four four zero seven three seven seven. That's the number for you to call. And uh, let me make sure that yeah, I've cleared the phone line. Four four zero seven three seven seven. That's the number for you to call and get onto the inside of tonight's program. You know, it has something I was listening over the weekend. I say I want to play it for you all. And I want to play it because I want to show just how disingenuous these people are. It's a short statement. But I just want to play it for you to understand how they think you stupid. They think that you stupid while I know that you intelligent I know that you are smart I know that you possess critical thinking skills but before we go to that clip let's go to the phone line and give the phone line some priority hello good night yeah the Scott good night how are you man I'm quite fine bro you go right ahead you're alive yes Sheldon Scott I'm calling tonight Sheldon how are you doing, man? I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I haven't heard you for a long, long time. I sweat, I'm sweating in the studio, but... <laughs> I know, I know, I know. I want to say a special good night to Dr. Modest and Miss Nicole, Nicole Charles. I want to say congratulations to her, too, on, uh, on I think she wins some um, pharmacy awards. Congratulations to her. And Dr. Mitchell, good night to you. This is your boy. Sheldon, I want to, I want to know something. I... Watch a clip today, and the clip shows that Gonzalo went in Cuba, and he brought two hundred and thirty-four bags of flour, thirty-five bags of flour. No tons, boss. Hold on, hold on. Let me let me make sure you get it in correct. It's not bags, tons of flour. Con, tons of flour. Sorry. They, tons, they went sorry. To, they went to Cuba so with tons, tons, tons of right, flour. Right, got it. Yeah, tons of flour. Yeah, and they go to they go to um, photograph. And the can and the can was up there. But he carry a photograph of himself. So you carry a photograph of yourself and you do right up there. And people holding the photograph to show. You see that big embarrassment to Grenada. Big embarrassment. <laughs> Cuba has done so much for us for this little country. Bro, even if we did say we carry a, a two a, some set of spice and them kind of thing that we sending up some spices, we are the isle of spice. We may not have flowers, so we go say we send in some spice. Or we send in some locally produced something. You know, it's else. just the, the thought behind it, but a picture, that's where you go up with. You understand? Well, I listen one again to a clip again tonight and um, and, and the classroom. My man telling them, them no, watch it now because the people are complaining. The people are complaining now that they, they're not supporting them. They're not supporting them, but I'm glad. I'm glad to know that they're not supporting them. 
and they will come with us. But we need them on board. Because this government didn't do nothing for Grenada. Look, the Prime Minister gone again. He gone, in, he, he gone to Greece. He just come from Cuba and he gone to Greece. So he, what happened this man? He living in here. Well, he said they paid this man to live in here. He slip out, so he gone to Greece. Where? He slip out, well, so he, he gone to Greece. Like, yeah, according to the man, they call him a close. He's a close, a close to the line. He have every media in here line. In here, in here. This man, I don't understand this man. I know. This man, know they, they, they're not competent to run the country. They don't want to run the country. I give it up now. Because you're making people go through all this suffering. Huh? Are you living luxury life? Big life? Are you going to plan plane? Are you a big, uh, I could do whatever I want. Are you, I see them eating the other day. They see them eating, they're dining. Why put some other people, poor people catching the men in? And when you talk to the supporters about you, talk about, oh, that's my time now. But let me tell them, I always tell them, God is taking note. God is taking note. My heart goes over some people who have nothing. And every day they, 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 they're looking for something. Why do you have it in abundance and you don't give it nobody? You get it, you have food with all this money. What you do with this money? You just squanderize the money. Traveling, traveling, traveling. And you look at you, you go 13 of them, you know. 13, you know. In Cuba, you know. Well, I, I recognize was a significant when they were coming off the plane. Because you realize was a lot of them that went, you realize that... Um, the, the, the cultural advisor, whatever he is, um, you realize Mr. Orlando Romain was there. You realize the Prime Minister carried his personal secretary along with him. And there were other persons there. I mean, if the, from the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, your Prime Minister is traveling on an official trip, you expect to have one or two people from, like a, a, pro, a protocol person from the, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs should travel with your Prime Minister. So we'd admit that. A, a, a person like that should travel with your Prime Minister. But that length of delegation, as he goes, five, 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 five MPs and, 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 and all, these, all these people. And here's what, uh, according to what he said yesterday at the press conference, there is the high likelihood that there's another minister about to go up either this week or next week again, you know, to but Cuba again. I don't understand. I don't understand. I love Cuba. I love Cubans, but my goodness. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't feel like Cuba wants to see this in Canada. I love Cuban people. I love Cuba. I, <laughs> Cuba I, I is one of the most beautiful people places people on earth. Cuba Cuba kicking them out, you know. <laughs> because that's embarrassment. Cuba, they, they, they have the, 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 the difficulties. You, you, are, you, okay? you know you need to get help from Cuba. You are the promise in this country. You don't hold nothing. Like my paper bag. I don't hold it. I hold it. I don't hold it. I don't and it's so much for you, Nina. I'm going to have a good night, yes? All right, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Uh, 440-7377. That's uh, 440-7377. Let's try and get in that call before we go to the next clip. Hello, good night. Hi, good night, caller. You go right ahead. You're live. Good night. And how are you? Hey, I'm fine. Yeah. The flour that Gonzales bring, mm -hmm. the people could cook that, they could bake with it, they could do what with it, and it would finish, and they may not remember it anymore. But with mm -hmm. the photograph, they could put it on the wall, so every time they turn, they could see it, and it's mm -hmm. for a lifetime, if no one mash it up. But so, they, could, they could get that online? Ah? Huh? They could get a photo online. Did not well, bring a photo for them. Well, he wanted to get it online. He wanted to make sure it presents himself. Presents it himself. <laughs> so they could put it as a wall, you know, a wall plaque. So every time they turn, they could see it and remember him. Mm -hmm. I understand. <laughs> Thank you so very much for that perspective. <laughs> yeah, but the thing is, um, if you have a country that's going through, and, and folks, the, the, the caller wasn't meant to be any... Okay, right, yeah. The caller just stating a fact. Now, if you go to a country that's going through economic problems, where there's a problem in relation to food and so on, I would think it's more thoughtful to do what was done by the Vincentian people. I'm not sure if Prime Minister Ralph Gonzalez even went or they just sent that to Cuba. I think it's more situation they may have just sent it to Cuba and the tons of flour and so on just to show their support 
for the Cuban people um, who are suffering through this embargo for the last, um, since before I born, this, they're going through this embargo, yeah? And to show that, yes, we care. So even if they take that flower and they decide to use it at um, schools or they decide that they're going to use it at health facilities or wherever, it is a gift from the Grenadian people, yeah? And it would be highly appreciated. But you take two pictures and you carry up to Cuba a picture that has been photoshopped of Maurice Bishop. You photoshop him into a jacket and tie. Well, listen, I have never in all the photos I've seen of Maurice Bishop. I can't remember any picture I see of Maurice Bishop during the revolution. Anybody that know of one, please send it to me. I have never seen a photo of Maurice Bishop in a jacket and tie. Never. I always see him in these shirts with us called Guayabera and the different Cuban shirts and those kind of things. Um, I've seen him in the shirt jack and those kind of things. But I have never seen a photo of Maurice Bishop in a jacket and tie. So all the photoshop a picture of Maurice Bishop into a jacket and tie and bring it to Cuba. A little understand the connotations, especially among Pan-Africans and so on of shirt and tie and jacket and tie. Or do you even understand that? Yeah? Bali was so busy to try and align all yourself with, you, like you all are the new Maurice. So you go and you Photoshop your picture of Maurice and then you bring a picture of yourself. Anybody that know Maurice Bishop, knew of Maurice Bishop or so on, tell me, I, I don't know. Maybe when he used to go to court as a lawyer, um, back in those days, it may have been a requirement that he wear a jacket and tie. So I don't know, but I have never actually seen a picture. Anybody that could furnish me with one, I'd be happy. I've never seen Maurice Bishop wearing a jacket and tie. I've never seen the man wearing a tie. In no picture, and I've seen loads of pictures of Maurice Bishop. During the revo, just prior to the revo, I have never seen a picture of Maurice in a jacket. But that is what they take and all they bring in. All the film Cuban don't know what Maurice Bishop look like. <laughs> Instead of, anyway. Four four zero seven three seven seven three four seven three two nine three one zero one. Folks, I did promise you I want to play something here. Let me play where I was going and playing now because I want to show you how these people does feel that like you're stupid. Let me let it's, it's, it goes back to a program that they had there. Let's hear what they had to say here. To protect, we are the foreigners who are coming who we want to protect, and tourism has been on the rise mm -hmm. for the last two years. The the the, the hotels could tell you that they have seen dramatic improvement on the occupancy rate and so on. I mean, so folks, he is technically trying to say that during the period of the NDC that they see an increase in hotels and hotel arrivals and so on, isn't it? Let's just hear what he had to say here again. Let's hear it again. Because they're trying to give you the impression, especially those of you outside of Grenada, they're trying to give you the impression that NDC is the cause of this and they are doing an excellent job with, with tourism and so on. So hear it again. Tourism has been on the rise mm -hmm. for the last two years. The, 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 the hotels could tell you that they have seen dramatic improvement on the occupancy rate and so on. And we want to keep that there. Yep. Now, folks, this has nothing to do with the NDC. Absolutely nothing. There is, and let us be correct here, there is an increase in occupancy at the hotels. There are an increase, there is an increase in, in visitors that are coming into the island. And it will be an increase because in the year 2020 and 2021 and for part of 2022, Grenada was on lockdown. So you would not know visitors. So 10 on top of zero is an increase, you know. Because you started at zero. In 2021, your tourism product was basically closed down. In 2020, remember, the only time we saw cruise ships coming here, after March in 2020, the only time we saw cruise ships come to the island of Grenada was to drop Grenadians back home. Those who were working on the cruise lines. Because all the cruise ships were parking up around the world. I think some people tend to forget what was happening just a few years ago, you know. Just four years ago. So you had all these cruise lines were passing in Grenada. Whether it was Disney and they come and drop off. Who they had to drop off. And Royal Caribbean and all of them they were passing. 
just to drop off their staff who were Grenadian, who were wherever they are, they, they connect them and they got them home. They brought them home. Yeah? That was the only way we see cruise ships in the later part of 2020, after the lockdown started in March. That was the only way we saw. Instead of people coming in, you had people going out. Remember the long lines of people past the American monument going down of the students that were going back to their various countries? The 3,000 plus people that leave from SGU and went back. All the hotels and the, that is why the government at the point in time had to institute the stimulus package to help those people who were working in the tourism industry because they had no job. They were home. You don't need, if you have nobody in the hotel, you don't need your staff. So the staff were at home. And the only way some of them started coming back in some of the smaller facilities and so on were when you started to let people come back in, but you were quarantining and some of the facilities were being used for quarantine. And that is how some staff came back out. So you're basically operating your tourism industry at that point in time in 2020 into 2021 and continuing into 2022 when you started opening on a limited basis, you were operating at zero. So it's obvious. By 2023, when the place opened back fully and so on, anything you get, they're going to be an increase. In 2024, with the place open fully, cruise ships start to run more than they were running before and all sorts of things. You're going to have an increase. But to try to fool the Grenadian people, I don't know who they think stupid, you know. In fact, no. Let me take that back. I think I know who they think stupid. They think all of us out here are stupid. So they can make statements like that. And then the mouthpieces all over the place go say, but they don't see tourism improve, tourism improve in Grenada and we have arrivals and so on. And trying to believe now that you forget that during COVID, as the taxi drivers, they had to receive stimulus. They had nobody to take on no tour around Grenada. You had curfew, all kind of thing taking place. You were taken on tour. You couldn't even leave home some certain days. Sometimes three days you're on lockdown. Two days you're on lockdown. You get a shopping day and you're back in lockdown again. So it had nothing for the people in the tourism sector. So from nothing to something, not because of the NDC, but in spite of the government that's in power. And that's why I always say, they tend to take a lot of praise for things that is happening, things that are happening in spite of and not because of them. By simple statements like that, that their people grab onto and run. So nobody is saying that they ain't have increase. Yes, you will have increase. It has nothing to do with NDC. You will have increase. Because you had nothing. Those of you who worked in the tourism industry and have friends and family members who work in the tourism industry know the truth of what I'm saying here. Them restaurants, the bars, all of them had to close. They had no inside service. You couldn't go and sit down inside a restaurant to say go in and eat something and drink something. That's a way. <laughs> You couldn't do that. Those that were open were limited. So you just had basically buy, grab and go. And then all the staff had to be immunized and all these different things had to be in place. So you had a significant number of people that were not working during that period of time. And therefore had to depend on the little stimulus payments that they were able to get. Until the facilities started opening back in 2022, 2023, you realize these facilities start to open. And then now, due to the new national party, you have the facility that has opened in St. David. It's going to employ some 750 or so people. Well, over 700 people it's going to employ. I hate employ until it employ family members, very close family members of the same person that went with Bullhorn saying, we don't want that here, the machine up in Mangrove. It employ very, I ain't going to say who, but it employ very close family members of that individual as well. That is they still shame to go. What we seeing, don't, don't feel they ain't going or the shame to go with us seeing, yeah, to the sixth sense. So, all of those things are happening in spite of and not because of the National Democratic Congress. Let me clear the phone lines, I'm sorry about that. You can call, yeah, it is happening in spite of them and not because of them. But you see, they think we're stupid, they believe they can 
come out with these little stories and so on, they go fool somebody. They believe they will make these statements and they will come out unchallenged. They believe that you do not possess the intellectual capacity to see nonsense, know nonsense, and call out nonsense or what it is. Nonsense. These things are happening in spite of them, not because of them. They, they have done nothing. They've done absolutely nothing to improve the tourism industry here in Grenada, except continue the various projects that the new National Party was doing. So when people come in and I see some of them, oh, Airbridge, you ain't see NDC, NDC, yeah? It is happening in spite of and not because of the NDC. It was organized. <laughs> Everything was in place. The materials were on the ground. Everything was taking place already. So it's happening in a timeline that extends from the period of the new National Party into the period of the NDC. So it's happening in spite of and not because of the National Democratic Congress. They ain't fooling nobody. And I know for a fact they ain't fooling none of the listeners to this program. None of you. Because stupid people doesn't listen here. They don't listen to this. They get annoyed. Anytime stupid people listening here, they become annoyed, they turn off the device, they go about the business, or some of them who just never know how we just deal with them will try to call and try to show a two word or something. And we know how to deal with them. We ain't afraid of them. Right? But we know that anybody listening to this program is an intelligent person. And a person who sometimes, if I say something and it's wrong, they will call and they'll say, Shalan, no, let me correct you. Or I will get a WhatsApp message either on my phone or on the system in here. And I'm sorry, I can't even see the WhatsApp messages tonight on the system. So I am not an ignoring you all. I saw my good friend from Springs up there in Canada, everybody trying to reach me. But I can't even see the messages on WhatsApp. Um, in studio. I just had to start at, at 8.30 because we were so late, so I didn't have time to go and set up and all of that. All right. Um, let me go back to the phone line. Hello, good night. Yes, Mr. Scott, good night. Good Mr. night. Scott. Yes. Good night. I, I, find it, I find it anyone who's still talking to me now. You have that? Because to me, because trust me, they look at real mad people, They're like sick people. You, you see them born them? They might look, you know, they look sick, 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 sick. I friends, I friends you still be too? <laughs> yeah, they, they have sick, they want them sick, man. So you, you find it, the rest need to stay along with Brother Tevin? Yeah, exactly. You want them sick, man. What else? 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 They, trust me, they look, they look sick. You understand? They just stay all day. <laughs> they're sick. All them sick. Okay, thank you. All right, brother. <laughs> I think they were they were lending support to their to their brother, and I I think the brother yeah it's just, he needs the help, so he getting the help. All right, we have some, oh boy, I am not sure what took place there. Oh boy, yeah, something is wrong with that particular line. Jack, oh boy, yeah, not sure what's going on with the overseas line, but let's go back to the local line. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. Hey, Sheldon. Good evening, bro. You're live. Go right ahead. Hey. Sheldon, I heard a other um, smart man activist call on a certain program and praising the NDC for the $15 million and saying that is just a, a, a little drop in the bucket. They should have spent more because look of tourism improve and tourism this. And he's, you know, praising them for this um, thing. So they, they have this illusion that they believe, you know, we don't understand. And like this $15 million that they spent for the um, 50th anniversary of the independence is what brings in all the tourists and what brings in this increase. And I heard this guy saying this thing, you know, and I, I, it made me wonder, I said, this guy really feel Grenadian stupid. They hmm. always try to play big analysts for us, and they really think Grenadian stupid. You know... <laughs> Sometimes you just make your wonder. Thank you, Sheldon. All right, my brother. Thank you so very much. 440 That's 440. Yeah, the overseas line, something crossing on that because I hear a noise when I try to answer that one. So I had to fix that problem. Sorry for the overseas callers and the WhatsApp callers tonight, but uh, the local callers, we're getting you. Folks, I want to play our next one from you, for you all. I want to play our next one. You know what? Yeah, let me play our next one for you all. 
I want you all to tell me what is the wrong part of what you're hearing here. Team. So from my prime minister to my cabinet colleagues, the cabinet of ministers and the St. George Northwest Council for Human and Social Development, we want to empathize with the two families from Boucheju on the loss of their dwelling quarters and the possessions therein. We also want to let them know that as long as LACO is their representative, they have nothing to fear and we will build back better. They can take that. Only, only, only hear that part, eh? Yeah, let me, let me hear that part again because I, I was wondering if I was hearing proper, so I decided to play it for everybody. Let us all hear if we hear in proper. Of the dwelling quarters and the possessions therein. We also want to let them know that as long as LACO is their representative. As long as who is their representative? I want to make sure we hear in proper because last I know, that individual get one of the worst cocktail in the election campaign. Let me hear. We also want to let them know that as long as LACO is their representative, they have nothing to fear. But LACO is not the represent. Listen, apparently you all may have needed to leave Brother LACO up in that facility today as well. Huh? I, I hope that you all recognize that there may be issues there that have to be addressed. As Grenadians... We have a lot of love. We have a lot of care and concern. And therefore, the brother may need assistance. And that assistance, I think he was in the right place today where that sort of assistance was available. As such, as such, if he's not up there now, I think you all may have to organize to make another visit to the facility and ensure that he avails himself of all that the facility offers. You remember the meet with administrative staff and thing? Yeah. You know. We also want to let them know that as long as LACO is their representative, they have nothing to fear. As long as LACO is their representative? I had to check the election results because maybe I see it wrong or some kind of thing. Let me play it. Somebody tell me they ain't it proper. Let me play it again. The, the possessions therein. We also want to let them know but as long as LACO is their representative, they have nothing to fear. And we will build back better. LACO is not their representative. LACO might be the NDC caretaker. But LACO is definitely not the representative for St. George. St. George Northwest, are they taking that? St. George Northwest. My people in St. George Northwest. You all have a pretender to the throne. Yes, it seems as though you all have a pretender to the throne because they seem not to understand the concept of having lost. They are delusional. And as such, maybe they also need to avail themselves of the facilities that are available at government's pleasure. We have a caller online. Hello, good night. Well, Scott, I call again. But you still can't. Can't me, can't me, can't me, can't me, can't me. Our have... representative is doctor. We have to allow others. All right. I'll leave him with you, you know. Can we thirty seconds because we have to allow others. That's the third call. We have to allow others yeah, to get you. Yeah, yeah. I know, but I have to answer that call. He's not the representative, doctor. Claudius Mitchell is the representative. Yes. That man is a madman. Mm-hmm. He's be. a madman. He's a well, caretaker. I am, not saying, he? I am not saying he's a madman. I'm uh, saying that, that he needs to avail himself of the facilities made available. Dr. Mitchell, Dr. Mitchell, why are you representing the body area? Can we go talk? Let me hear somebody uh, else from Northwest call. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah, let me hear somebody else from Northwest. No, I am not saying that the man is a madman. I am not a medical I'm not a medical professional. I have studied psychology at the basic level. I've never studied it at the advanced level, nor do I have a degree. But I believe that the individual is exhibiting certain psychosis. And therefore, he needs to seek professional help because he's living in La La Land. Anyhow, <laughs> let me see if I could find somebody. Yeah, yeah, let me. Oops, yeah, we, we lost that one. 4407377. My friends on the overseas line, I've been trying to answer the overseas line, but I am getting. Let me see. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. 
let me see with the overseas now nah, I'm not getting you all on the overseas line so we're gonna have to go back to the local line hello good evening hello good evening yes hello and good night how are you hey I'm quite fine you go right ahead you're live um you seem like the whole side getting crazy man well I am saying that they need an assessment done um that is a is a medical is a medical judgment that has to be made I can't call anybody mad but I can say that okay. they're exhibiting That's symptoms true of, of true, ment but, um, mental disturbance so they need to have um, a professional look at them okay 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 well i'm just going to do, just going to tell you um if you don't know that people are really suffering from mental issues out there no no there, there are people that need to ensure that they um have themselves checked out mentally yeah i, I agree okay, okay. all right okay. thank you so very much my brother yeah man good night take <laughs> care right. Yeah, I I can't understand because I believe that there is a need for some of these individuals to be evaluated. I don't know, maybe it was the loss at the election um, that triggered something. But to go out there calling yourself the representative of the people, um, no, no brother. Uh -uh. I think for since 1984, people know who is the representative of that constituency. People know very well who's the, co the representative of that constituency. The election results have been very clear as to who is the representative of that constituency. Yeah? Yeah. So let, let's hear. Hello, good evening. Caller, your live. Go right ahead. Hello? Hi, caller, your live. Go right ahead. Good night, Shalon. Good Shalon, night. Shalon, I know. If I didn't believe it before, I believe it now. These people are a bunch of sick, sick people. Apparently, Laco may not know who he represents. I don't know who Laco representing, but for him to say <laughs> the representative, something wrong with Laco, man. Laco had to be mad. Trust me, these people, these people, are sick, man. Sick, sick, sick set of people. Well, you know, as as friends and as caring and concerned citizens, we may see elements of certain things with an individual, and we could recommend that they go and have themselves assessed. And I think he was in the right place to have himself assessed, even considering his behavior in Parliament a few months ago. Right. He, is in the proper, he, he was in the proper place today to be assessed. Remember Parliament, they actually had to adjourn the sitting for a short while so that he could compose himself. Right. So it seems what? as though there, there are some issues there that need yeah. to be assessed. Maybe some counseling might help. Right. Um, uh, yeah, maybe some counseling, being able to speak to a professional. It helps, you know. It helps. But, but you learn, in the in the photo that they took at Mongi, just look at Lako posture. Just look at him. Just look at his posture. Something wrong. Something fundamentally wrong with these people. Mm -hmm. Have a good mm -hmm. night, my brother. Thank you so very much, my dear. Yeah, so my friends on the overseer, I'm so sorry. I, I, I don't know what the issue is. On, as I say, it's new technology we're using. So, you know... Pretty soon we'll have everything smooth, 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 smooth. But you know, you have teething issues every now and again. Because the first time that we're actually doing a program live with the system, the new system that we've installed. All right. Yeah, we haven't even completed installing the, the system yet. There's still one or two bits to do. It's here, but one or two bits to do to finish installing the system. So again, we do apologize for the late start. There's one other issue I wanted to raise tonight. But with eight minutes remaining, I'm about to raise that one. Yeah, I'll leave that one alone for probably, and um, we'll deal with that on Wednesday night. Tomorrow night, though, we have on with us, we do have Sister Kate Skeeter Lewis Peters. I like to give her all she name. Yeah, Kate Skeeter Lewis Peters. She will be on with us tomorrow night. So we're going to be having a wonderful discussion with our sister tomorrow night. Hopefully, you might be able to take some calls. Yeah, hopefully you might be able to take some calls. And so let me go back to the phone line here. Yeah, oh boy, uh, boy, yeah. Caller, you, you miss it by a mm. Yeah, you miss it by a mm. uh, Oh, boy. And the overseas line is ringing off the hook. I am so sorry to those of you that are trying to get through on the overseas line. I'll, I'll ensure that we have it sorted out properly by tomorrow. Yeah, I know the techies are listening, so they, they know what they have to do. So we're going to come in and we're going to make sure that by tomorrow night, everything is nice and smooth. All right? We're going to make sure for you all everything is nice and smooth. 
But one more time by, by popular request. We want to hear one more time. We want to hear what you have to say there. Yeah, we ain't show any face here. Yeah, yeah I mean, face nothing. Yeah. We go hear what you have to say. Nice. Let me hear what you have to say. Therein. We also want to let them know that as long as Laco is their representative, they have nothing to fear. Oh, my representative, man, who they now, man? They're talking about using representative. Therein. We also want to let them know that as long as Laco is their representative, they have nothing to fear. And we will build back better. They can take that to the bank, Terry. Yeah, they could take that to the bank. Yeah, take it to the bank. Yeah, take it to the bank that all they get $1.7 million to do house from, ain't it? Yeah, take it to the Nada Bank, empty right now. Yeah, on inside that bank. When they go and they take $1.7 million to go and do house and thing, a bank that government ministers, their spouse and their children and so on, their brother, their sister, their father, their uncle, them thing not supposed to get money from once you're a government minister. Once you go to there and you take $1.7 million, really nothing for anybody else to get. So when man go to buy boat and man, you want to give a man 30000 when a man had to get a boat, a loan is 40000 and then it's a much thousand for the engine. And all of that. I mean, come on, man. You have to do better than that. Um, a good friend of mine just sent to me. They said, what the Cubans got. And they want you all to understand that. Eh? 235 tons, right? By um, that, 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 that works out to 526,400 pounds. So nearly half a million pounds of flour that was sent. Well, over half a million pounds of flour that was sent to the Cuban people by next door yeah next door right some was no good well i didn't even I, I didn't even pick up my phone and check was there an election in st george northwest that is what one person asking another one saying lako living in the land that he wanted <laughs> another one say he was rejected yeah well i i do understand what, what going on there <laughs> The man say he's the rep. Yeah, the man say he's the, I don't know what kind of rep he is, but he says he's the rep. But you see, that is, a, that is a mindset that pervades the bowels of the National Democratic Congress because they refuse to respect the will of the people in several constituencies. So, for instance, when it comes to our loving sister Kate Skeeter Lewis Peters and her constituency, they have an individual who is not even a member of parliament. They're not in the Senate, and nor were they able to beat Sister Kate, so they're not in the House of Representatives. But yet still, that individual is guiding the work that is taking place in St. Andrew Northeast. They're the person that they want. I mean, people have to go to them when they want to find out this. I want to want this done and that done and so on. They lose. They get licks, and they will get licks again. In fact... I am putting, well, I ain't betting, I ain't going down that road day. Next thing that man arrest me for gambling, no. I am telling you all now that they're getting worse licks at the next election whenever it call. St. Andrew Northeast. Whether they send that candidate or they find another one and bring to collect the licks, whoever they bring to collect the licks, they're getting more licks than they get the last time. Yeah, they lick sure. Call the date and they go find out. Yeah, the same goes with St. George Northwest, the same goes with the town of St. George, the same goes with St. Andrew Southeast. Yeah, all where they get licks, you gain more licks. And those areas that you were able to convince enough to be able to beat the new national party, don't feel it going and go down that easy the next time around, you know, because a lot of us not going to sit down and allow it to go down like that. Which is why I will continue to say to each and every one of you, register. Let me tell you a trick they've been using recently. I saw the um, attorney general with a box talking about vote 2027. Don't fall for it. Do not let them trick you into thinking that elections coming quite in 2027 or wherever. Always operate as election coming next month. Because technically, according to how you balance the days and so, it could come within the next couple months. But always operate as though election is coming next month. So you have to not only get registered and make sure that you registered, but you have to make sure that all the people in your household, 
in your workplace, yeah? All the people in your clubs, all the people in all the organizations, the fellas by the bar where does lime, the people in the restaurant where does go and buy lunch, the people who take the bus with you coming down in the morning time, you have to make sure that they are registered and they are ready that when the time comes, the correct decision can be made. Yeah, and we all know what the decision is, you know, that this government has to go. So we have to make sure, even if it's the people that we come down every morning, some of us, we come down with a bus and we basically have the same group of people sometimes coming down on the bus with us in the morning. We have to make sure they're registered too and that they're ready. Yeah? So don't get taken by this thing where they come and they're putting out about 2027. That is mind games. Because while they have you thinking, oh, NDC looking to do this thing in 2027, I have time. I ain't registering yet. I go take some time. While they have you thinking that, they're registering the people. They are making sure that the people are registered. And remember, on election day, it is not who has the most likes on social media. It's not the most popular person that necessarily will win, you know. It's the person who has the majority of ballots in the box by the close of the polls. The majority of valid ballots in the box. It could be one more than the next person you win. 1974 St. Patrick East. Wellington Friday against the late um, Winston White. Yeah, it could be by one you lose. You have to watch the next person go to parliament every month. Yeah? So whatever it takes, make sure that you are registered and you are ready. You have seen tonight that basically what, <laughs> there's no effect in here, this had to be madness. But you have seen as well that we are dealing with a group of individuals that do not respect our intelligence. They do not respect us. So they think that when they come with these shenanigans and these nonsensical arguments and speaking about things that are happening in spite of and not because of them they think that they are fooling the intelligent amongst us they are not don't let them get away with it folks that's all the time we have for talking points tonight it's been wonderful being here with you and whatever you say and do do it safe and secure want to be speaking to and with you and definitely not about you folks we're going to be back tomorrow night god's willing from 8 p.m let me make the promise again from 8 p.m., I, I would have tried from 7.30, you know, but no. From 8 p.m., we're going to be back tomorrow night with talking points for you and everything will be working proper. Yeah? I'm making sure, I'm making that promise to you all. Everything will be working proper. All right, I'm Sheldon Scott. I'm out of here. Love each and every one of you. Yeah. <laughs>